Howdy folks, this is Theron. Welcome to the Minecraft Land Party. Hi dude. Oh wait, wait, come back here. Let me take a pic let me take a selfie with you. Come on, hello. Turn around, turn around, it's okay. Oh okay. Hello! Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Oops. The reverse F5 stuff is confusing. Yeah, okay, there we go. Walking through another hub here, which you should be familiar with. And this is the path, path, uh, path up to the Nether Fortress, and also the portal to the Ocean Monument. I put in some stuff. It's a very long walk. And so I, I decided to put in some rails because I was under the impression that one of the 1.8 snapshots changed it so that uh, pigmen can spawn on rails. So I'm just doing a little test here to see if they spawn. I put down about 24, I think, rails. And, uh, you know, got prepped for the little button. Woo! Um, I just figure if I if I leave this in place as I walk back and forth a couple of times, if I see anybody, and I've got it all blocked off so that if somebody spawns inside there, they can't get out. But there's enough air space, air blocks, for them to spawn inside there. That would tell me whether or not my understanding of the powered rails thing is true so we're doing science yes uh anyway it would be nice to be able to re to ride the rail all the way over to the nether fortress or at least most of the way then uh then having to walk or run all the time because if you run it actually uses up enough hunger that uh, you go through some food at least one item of food as you can see, I've pretty much switched over to golden carrots, which uh, is may seem grandiose and excessive, but they have a really good saturation. So once you eat one, you don't get hungry for a while again. It's kind of nice, so you don't need to you don't need to go through that much of it. Um, the saturation isn't that much greater than cooked beef or steaks, I guess you would call it. So it's not uh, it's not that big of a difference, but Anyway, um, and they they restore as much hunger as I think pork and and steaks. So I'm just wait until it gets down enough that I'm not wasting some of the golden carrot and uh, get some. There we go. So anyway, welcome. So here's another fortress. So it's a bit of a walk. It's not that bad. Um, peek up here. Don't see anybody going on there. I hear gas somewhere. There's some piggies out and about around here. I probably should go through it at some point. Slap or light all this. Or slap this up. So that uh, we concentrate. Spawns in the nether fortress. But frankly, if you, if you spend an hour running around the nether fortress, you're going to end up with... Oh, hello, Mr... Oh, Mr. Gast, you're going to end up with uh, plenty of wither skulls. Okay, so, portal goes out to my uh, the first ocean monument. And uh, I made this a little bit bigger back here. I was having some problems that when I get network lag, and I'm doing okay right now, but on the other side of this, you'll see I won't be doing so great. And I would come out of here and it would put me out into, I don't know, I thought it was dropping me into the floor down here. And then I was running the risk of suffocating in the floor. I think it may actually have been putting me out. This wall used to be right here. And I have a feeling it may have actually been, put, been putting me out into the wall here. Because at one point I threw a pearl to get out and I ended up out over here. Whereas if I get stuck in the in the floor here and throw a pearl, it's going to put me up on top of the block. Um, it's going to try to put my feet on that block, I think. And it puts me up into the room here. So I think I, th I threw two pearls because I didn't think it was responding. I think one hit the window here and then another one hit the wall over there. And I ended up 
out in the fortress, which isn't great. And I did actually die and lose a bunch of stuff um, coming through this into this portal here. So that kind of sucks. So anyway, um, I still get the network lag. Okay, that's good. Uh, I still get the network lag uh, when I'm in in the in the area in an area where there's a lot of entities. Oh, hey, dude. Enjoy. Um, so here, there's a lot of those guardians sort of swooping around, and I and there we go. See now I'm down to two bars. So my ping times go through this weird process, and this has got to be my ISP because I don't have it at other places. Uh, where the network, where the uh, internet connection is good. But I've got all these guardians swimming around shooting uh, shooting squids and whatnot. To the point where this tunnel becomes an inadvertent ink sack farm, or squid farm. Uh, and it takes a little while to open chests. Get in minecarts. There we go. Come on. There we go. Goodness. So that's a little frustrating. And that's also, those conditions are when the uh, getting through portals is tough. But I want to show you an update on the Ocean Monument, the Guardian Farm. So we'll just take the little ride out here. And uh, as we go out, my network, uh, my ping times will improve dramatically. Get out and see everything's more responsive now. Okay, I don't know where we left off here. I know that I had a big hole in the ground. I had removed the monument. I was starting to build scaffolding. So, things have changed quite a lot. So I have a little platform over here. Got a couple smelterators where I can smelt up glass. I've got some glass storage here, some yellow glass. I've got some sunflowers that I can use as yellow dye. And I've got, uh, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Any iron in there? No. Dang. One problem. I'm really short on iron. Um, but I'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So from the bottom up, big old hole in the ground. I've made it deeper. Still not quite where it needs to be. I need to go down a few more blocks. And then I put in temporary floor. Which is at the right height for working with this. And I was going to do all out of dirt. Figuring the biggest risk were endermen picking up parts of it. Uh, but I didn't have enough dirt. I really didn't have enough dirt. So I'm like, oh, well, I'm just not that far from another portal. I'll just put another rack. Which seems like a great idea, until the weather goes bad. Uh, one problem, during thunderstorms, netherrack will catch fire. I didn't realize that. It might actually be useful as a, as a weather indicator to tell you whether or not there's been nearby lightning strikes. And I don't know how nearby the lightning strikes need to be uh, for it to catch on fire. It's going to be a bit of a problem, and I'll get into why in just a moment. So I've lay, I'm going to lay out the actual spawning portion of the farm in yellow glass because I think it contrasts nicely against the blue. Uh, I still have my beacon up, which I need to figure out how to deal with that. Um, and then I started putting in, so basically you put in channels because you want the water to be next to surfaces so that it flows downward and drags the guardians down. And I tested that. Although squid don't care anymore, guardians still do. And I did test that out. Um, and I found somebody online. I will find a link to the video and put it in the description. And he came up with this zigzag design, which seemed kind of smart. And he had tested it and found that it was more efficient than... <clears throat> the zip crowd uh, server where they just use strips and so I put in strips and then put in these little zigzag teeth and when I got it all laid out I'm like oh I'm wasting a row of glass I mean there's just a row of glass in the middle here where nothing can spawn and if I just get rid of those rows of glass 
I can just put in the zigzag parts and then uh, I can get another four spawning strips. Downside to that, I had to relay out everything. I had to tear out all the glass and put it back in. The other downside to that is uh, it means more dispensers. So these are all dispensers and I'll be putting water buckets in them because I do want to be able to turn the farm off especially since a lot of my problems seem to be when there's lots of entities around I want to be able to turn it off so that I can build the collection system down below after I've built this part sorry I will not do that again and uh, and and just in general if I want to be in the area I don't necessarily want to have lots and lots of guardians spawning and dying when uh, there's not really any need for it so I'm gonna run redstone along these slabs and then branch out to turn on basically hit all of these dispensers to cause them to dispense their um, dispense their water but notice that it is um, I haven't counted here this strip is a little uh, 60 or 62 blocks long and three quarters of the blocks three quarters of those blocks have have a dispenser on it so that means we're talking 45 dispensers per row and I have a uh, per strip and I have 18 strips it's a lot of buckets uh, buckets are only three iron each I have enough iron for that um, one thing about the the video that I'm going to post upon which I am partially basing this design the uh, the kid that, that did it did something really smart now, he had a lot more dispensers than this but he basically put in the water put empty buckets in the dispensers because empty buckets stack water buckets do not and then he pulsed all of them to have them suck up the water it was a it was a very efficient a very efficient way of loading the water buckets into the dispensers i thought that was really clever i don't know that i'm going to be able to do that here so i'm going to bring down this glass down to here and then i'm going to put a layer of uh, fence gates open fence gates along here to hold the water up and this is this will give me like five spawning five blocks tall of spawning spaces 18 strips two wide each that'll be plenty of spawning spaces for the guardians and I think we'll hit mob cap um, on the farm no problem the only thing I have to worry about is fence gates are flammable and if the nether rack next to the fence gate gets ignited so if I be if I put in the 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 fence gates before I and then between the time when I get the fence gates and start installing them and rip out all of this nether rack um, and if there's a, some a lightning strike that sets some of it on fire, I may end up losing some of my fence gates, or potentially all of them, because the fire will spread somewhat. So anyway, that's uh, that's something I'm a little concerned about. So I'm I'm working to get that all taken care of. I think I have the fence gates I need, and then I have to build a collection system down here, which is going to be a lot of powered rail, which I'm working on building. I was AFK at the gold farm earlier today to get some uh, some additional gold. Um, basically, I I need the whole area, which is 62 wide and 62 long or something. Like, even if it's only 60 by 60, that's still 3,600 powered rails that I need, which is a lot of rails. And then on each one of those 60, I need a, a hopper minecart, and then I need a hopper to go below the minecart to collect so that's a lot of iron I'm figuring the whole thing buckets hopper minecarts and hoppers I need something like six stacks of iron blocks and I just don't have that so I've been been trying to figure out I've been trying to work on that I've been AFK at the, at the iron farm but the iron farm kind of sucks um, there's some of the powered rails I'm collecting um, what other supplies do I have here? I can show you. Here's all my dispensers. This should be enough dispensers for the whole farm. Uh, fence gates. I'm still working on those. That might be enough. I have to do some testing in my creative world to see if I need. I think I can just put disp uh, the fence gates 
under the area where the water is so I can follow them in the zigzag and I don't need to put them everywhere. But I need to test that first. Because in my creative world, I didn't. I put them everywhere because they're cheap and creative. So anyway, uh, let's see. What else can I show you here? So here, so you can see I put in the dispensers go in a pattern that fills up all of the, uh, so, you know, like this dispenser here will put water here, here, and here, right? And then this dispenser is in the wrong place, right? This dispenser will put water here and here. This dispenser will put water here, here, and here. Yeah, this will work. Um, I could have moved this dispenser over one. And then, oh no, you know what? There was going to be a guy that was in a bad place no matter what. Okay, never mind. I'm just rambling. So anyway, they're in this pattern. All the way along. And it takes care of the entire, the entire strip. Every one of these... Every one of these water blocks, every one of these blocks will have water in it because this guy will put out one here and one here and one here. And then this one I will put out one here and one here. Um, it will also put it out here and here, but then this guy will also try to put it out there and there. Um, I need to check and make sure that those aren't going to form... Oh no, they won't form source blocks here or here because there's no solid blocks beneath it. Okay, good. Uh, I was a little worried there. So anyway, I need to get this done before and get this nether rack out of here before the whole thing burns down. So uh, I've got, I don't know if I have enough glass. I haven't calculated how much glass I need, but I'm going to work on that a little bit. And uh, I wanted to give you that update. I've been digging out down below um, these guardians have 15 hearts so they need a 34 35 block drop in order to in order to die I'm gonna go 35 just to be safe so here I'm at at uh, at 54 at uh, y 54 so 35 off of that would be like 29 or something like that right so, coming down here. Yeah, so I need to come down at least three more, three more blocks. Uh, actually, five more because I'll need two for the the collection system, which is fine. I found some some caves, some caverns down here. Over on the side here. None of them are particularly deep or extensive, but they, they're around. So I've been going through and lighting those up as I as I needed to. This one's not this one's this is the biggest one I think that I've come across. So I lit it up. It got lost a couple times. But anyway, I think that's uh that's pretty much it. I'm already turned around. I don't know which way I came in. Not this way. Alright, so and and digging this out, I have come across some iron. But I'm thinking the next step needs to be a more effective iron farm. There we go. Over here, while I was working away, I was hearing spider sounds, so there was there's something there's a cavern over here. It's some goes down a little bit, but not far. But I got more caves, and I will want to light those up. Figure out where they are. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the walls. I do kind of like this sort of rough, you know, just cut away sort of look. But I might want to decorate them too. So uh, anyway, and when I get rid of the, uh, the the temporary floor, this looks really cool when you're down here. Not that I'll be down here much, but 
The plan is to have the rails run along here, picking up the drops. Um, probably will make the, the kill floor out of glass. And then I'll dump everything into water streams. Whoops. Bring them over to a corner, thinking over here. And do an item elevator. One of those glass item elevators. Shoot it up. Do a room to a sorter and a, and a storage area. Because the, the farm is probably going to produce a fair amount of stuff. It's down here. Nothing. Okay. So anyway, that's where I'm at with this. And it's really what I've been working on. Trying to trying to get more iron as well, but for the most part it's been this. And uh, we're down far enough. That marks the bottom corner of the monument. So that's the area up there where no nothing other than guardians can spawn. But we're below that, so I gotta keep this area lit up. So a ton of torches. Um and uh so yeah. It's uh, it's been a little expensive so far, but it's not too bad. So anyway, that's where we're going. I may do some artwork with the walls. I don't know. Again, we're not. You're not going. No one's going to be down here a whole lot. The items are going to end up up on a platform, probably somewhere above sea level. So when you get down to the end of the rail line that I have installed in the underwater the underwater tunnel, probably when you climb up, you'll climb up farther than this. I'll probably put a AFK thing up in the air, figure it out so that I'm, you know, sort of between thirty or between twenty four and and. Uh, 128 blocks above the bottom of this but not so far that the stuff in the corners out there don't spawn I, I don't know we'll we'll work it out and minimize some of the underground tunnel lighting that I need to do fortunately we're pretty far from those islands I mean they're reachable this is kind of in my tree farm while I'm here uh, so I swim out there and chop down the trees and replant and uh, I mean they're loaded but I don't think anything's spawning over there because it's too far but I'll have to measure it out anyway enough of me rambling on I'm going to get back to it and uh, I'll give you an update a little later on and uh, yeah so that is what's going on thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye